Welcome to Phoenix Tarot Tribe. If this is your first time, I'm glad you're here. If you are returning, welcome back. I missed you guys. So let's check the energy and see what's coming toward us this week. This one is for the collective. Hopefully everyone had a great holiday. Everybody did some things that they wanted to do. Um, today, your affirmation is put on your favorite song and dance your ass off. I love it, baby. I love it. Get that sacral chakra energy going. And today's channel song is Nana by Trey Songs. Uh-oh. Oh, Nana. Look what you done started. Okay. Let's talk about it, y'all. There are a lot of things going on in the energy right now. So I just thought I'd check in with my loves and see how my phoenix are doing. See what's going on. What's what's on the table for this week? What possibly may pop up in our energy that universe the universe wants us to know about at this time? I have already prayed and saged off camera as I do every reading. I pray for my family. I pray, oh shit, son. I see distorted feminine at the bottom of the deck. I pray for my family. I pray for your family. I pray for us as a family. Because family isn't just about the family you're born into. At this big age, we do get to choose the family that we keep. All right. Spirit, guys, and ancestors, show us what we need to know for our collective at this time. First card out. Oh, commitment, y'all. I love it. Y'all ain't gonna have me in my soft girl energy today, though. I love it. I love it. It's cold outside, y'all. It's snowing. I don't like it. I'm a summer baby, so I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, it's a necessary evil, but mm -hmm. y'all tell me down in the comments. Y'all like the snow or not? But commitment and snow, that's a good time to hang around, sit up, be laid up together, booed up together. Spirit, show us more, please. Okay, well, we got our three, y'all. We got chivalry. Ooh, somebody got roses. Somebody likes roses. And there's a horse. This, this is very nice. This is giving me gentlemen. And I'm hearing gentleman Jack. Okay. So, somebody's name may be Jack. Ooh, let's talk about it. Oh, the Rainbow Riviera. Now, y'all, y'all know I think the Rainbow Riviera is like all things happy, creative, all of that good bubbly energy but also the rainbow riviera could be um same sex for me y'all y'all know me nick is all about love if it's about love i'm about it we ain't trying to do too much just want to see what's going on in this energy for us The universe want to put on the front eye for right now. You could be with, watching out for these things. All right. Spirit, tell us about commitment. I wanted to come out, but shh, that's too many, y'all. It's not. It's really legitimately three. <clears throat> Others opinions. I feel bound by my culture and my family's beliefs on how I should live my life. I'm working toward breaking free from limiting myself based on their beliefs. Okay. I do feel called to take them because it was only three. It looked like a lot. The future. I daydream about our future together. Going on adventures and growing old together. I want it all with chivalry. Somebody want to do the whole two-step with you, baby. And need time to heal. Right now, I'm in a space where I need to focus on my healing and self-love. This isn't about you. It's about me. Okay, y'all. So somebody is doing their inner work. And that feels good. At the bottom of the deck, we see nervous. You make me nervous. Even just thinking about you, I get nervous. I'm not sure what to say or how to act around you. Okay. So this person is definitely thinking about what you guys have and commitment. Okay, at the bottom of the other deck is garden. So that, that to me shows me that something is growing in your situation. 
And the thing about growth, it takes time. So while this person is healing, does not mean that things can't still grow. I would say take your time and be honest with yourself. And there may be more healing that you need to do or can do. Because we all can journey a little bit further in our self-awareness journey. That would be a good thing. You know, learning more about ourselves. Making sure we're not out here um, ignoring signs or synchronicities that might be for us to grow up just a tad bit more. I don't know having these days off, y'all. I think I'm tired. I done finally took some time for myself and now my body is telling me I need to rest. So somebody may need to rest. Time to heal. Yeah, it might not just be about the inner healing. Someone may physically need to heal because I'm feeling it all in my body, y'all. Spirit, tell us about others' opinions and commitment. The magician, someone is manifesting this. Gemini energy. You may be dealing with a Gemini. What else about the magician, Spirit? The Page of Pentacles, they're watching you. I mean, you know, the Page of Pentacles is, is a small offer of stability. So, um, yeah. They, they might not have a lot to offer right now because of whatever. I mean, everybody's situation is different. Place people where they go. We got the three of pentacles working together. Okay, spirit. What's the three of pentacles? That one didn't flip out. It's still hanging though. I'm going to take it and I'm going to take this one. Okay, so y'all, what I see with this this three of pentacles and others' opinions, there's a, there may be up to three people in your person's ear, in your person's energy about this commitment or about your situation. And that might be something that is causing stagnancy and delay. They, As it says, they're trying to get away from their customs, cultures, and beliefs. They're trying to break free. But we have the Ten of Pentacles coming in, followed by the Three of Wands. The Ten of Pentacles is coming in fast. The Three of Wands is about waiting. It's about waiting on your ships to come in. So in reverse, to me, that always means that something is coming in pretty, pretty quickly. So this commitment that could lead to a Ten of Pentacles situation, somebody's, they know that they could be stable in this commitment whatever that is for you guys but they are just trying to work around some well, I don't know why I wanted to say family but some family issues maybe or just some things some other things that were going on in their life spirit tell us about the future and chivalry the six of cups this might be somebody from your past or this person you may have known this person for a long time. Spirit, tell us about the Six of Cups. What's the Six of Cups about? Yeah, y'all. They trying to break free of these beliefs with the hair font coming in in reverse. That is going against societal norms. So, you know, um, a lot of times we are taught things and... They're instilled in us so deeply that it is hard to break away from those customs, those beliefs. But this person is trying. They trying, baby. They trying with the hair font in reverse. They're trying to get away from. Um, I don't know why I'm hearing like somebody may think that divorce is wrong. Um, that That's what I heard. Someone may be trying to convince someone that divorce is not wrong. So, I don't know. It could go either way. It could be, um, y'all got a place to shoe where the shoe fits, y'all. I'm, I'm getting a lot right now with this. But, however it goes, you know, somebody is going against what they believe in. Spirit, tell me about the hair font in reverse to the Six of Cups for chivalry. The 
Three of Swords. Okay, this is causing them some some kind of heartache. Is it is it causing heartache, Spirit? What's the Three of Swords? Oh wow. Okay, so we got the Three of Swords, which is betrayal. We got the Seven of Wands, standing your ground. We got the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, so y'all. I feel like there was some kind of betrayal from this person's past. And now they're standing their ground with the Seven of Swords, the betrayal, confirmation. Um, the Three of Swords is the heartbreak, the betrayal, the heartache, disappointment. And now they're standing their guard with the Seven of Wands against a Queen of Pentacles. This person may be married, may have been married. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, what is that? Uh, Capricorn energy. That's our second major out here. And then we got the Knight of Cups so that they can have or bring forth an apology to you or bring a brand new love offer for someone. This is a brand new love offer because um, I'm looking at Chivalry. He doesn't look like he's troubled. He's looking like this is brand new. I mean, it, that don't mean that it's brand new because he's he might be in a refreshed energy is what I'm feeling. So some... Okay, confirmation. So somebody may come back in renewed energy is what I'm feeling at this time. After dealing with a queen of pentacles that caused some kind of disappointment or heartache, 11, 11 was on the timer. Um, okay, spirit, tell us about what's time to heal with the Rainbow Riviera. Okay, we got the King of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so this King of Swords is holding back because they are healing. And, you know, while they're doing their healing work, they're thinking about all the good things that have happened and can possibly happen between the two of you. So it makes them happy, but they realize that right now they're still hurt. They're they're living in a place of hurt, but they're trying to grow. And that is very mature that someone is not dragging you into their healing. A, a lot of people jump from situation to situation and never taking time to heal or be by themselves. And I commend this person, whoever this is, whether it's you, whether it's them, like I said, put people where they go. Um... At the end of the day, any work that you're doing on yourself is commended by Nick. Spirit, tell us about the Four of Pentacles holding back this King of Wands that's strategic as hell. Oh, it's the Emperor. Somebody showing up as an Emperor for you, baby. Okay, then. Aries. We got the Emperor out here. Talk that talk, then. What about the Emperor? Who's this Emperor? Oh, this Emperor may have kids, baby. The Emperor is a father figure. You know, uh, <clears throat> some people always do things for everybody else. And I'm feeling an energy of someone that may give to everybody else. But this person realized they have children and they got to heal so they can be their best selves. So they can be their best parenting style is what I'm hearing. Spirit, tell me about this emperor that's healing, taking time to, ooh, taking time to heal. The devil. <clears throat> Okay, so Capricorn again. Um, spirit, what's the devil? Tell me about the devil. Death. Scorpio energy, something's over. Okay, so I feel like this person is putting an end to their toxic traits. Something there's they're putting an end to some type of toxicity, and like I said, they may come back in a new energy. Um, if you look at little mama, she's actually cutting her hair and she's um she's facing herself in the mirror. That's what I'm I'm really pretty much paying attention to. She's facing herself in the mirror, she knows it's time for change. Spirit, what about death? 
Ooh, now death is coming so they can have a six of wands. And like I said, this could even be a same sex um, situation with the rainbows because they are lining up together. Oh, actually, shit, y'all. I ain't never paid attention. On this card, the two girls in the middle are kissing. So, yeah. These, these two are kissing. So, I mean, it, it seems pretty platonic, but, you know, whatever is whatever, y'all. Take it how you take it. Take it how it resonates, though. Just don't force it. And the thing about it, this, this is the moon, Cancerian energy. Um, this may all be hidden from you at this time. This person may have not. These are things that they don't normally say to you. Yeah. Yep. So, that is where we stand. Somebody is doing their healing work, y'all. I love it. I'm loving it very much so. All right, Spirit, can we get an oracle for my loves for this week? Some kind of encouragement. Okay. I guess. Mm-hmm. It's that one that wants to pop out. I'm going to take it. Oh, use your time well. Make every moment count. What I told y'all, while this person is healing, do your healing. I feel like this is your time to focus on your goals, your aspirations, just some things that you had already had planned. Because, of course, you have a life outside of this, this energy, whatever that is, whatever that means to you. If that is reading a book, if that is starting to do more self-care, if that is, you know, just taking some time for yourself, 1717 on a timer, do that. But make sure you're using your time wisely and well to grow because this person is growing. They're growing for the commitment with you. They're trying to heal. And, you know, even if you feel like you're healed, still do some things that could help you. That way, when the relationship comes to fruition you have that much more to offer and that's what i'm feeling so my collective i appreciate you all being here i wish you health wealth prosperity and abundance if you need anything from me it is definitely down in the description box if there is um any other videos that you guys would like to see there are vid video playlists broken down on the channel now Feel free to check out some other videos. I will definitely be trying to get around to uploading more videos so that we can stay up on top of the energy and what's going on in our energy. So my Phoenix, until next time, I wish you health, wealth, prosperity, and abundance. But above all, baby, I wish you love.